Okay, continuing from where we left off, uh, I did some tweaking to this model, um, straighten some parts of the aircraft and then move some of the vertices to match the shape of the Sukhoi. <clears throat> and uh, I think for this part here, I temporarily hidden the, uh, the jet intakes and then the engines so that I can straighten out th these lines over here. So I will continue to adjust these, select this group here, and then using the scale to line them up. Okay, so that they become straightened. All right. And I'll be using the uh, B ref closely also again to act as my reference to observe the shape as I continue to model. Now, um, I'm going to continue to tweak and model the center portion of the aircraft and especially where the junction where the jet engines are protruding out from the, the bottom here or rather from the top here. Like this, this part here is uh, uh, pretty unique. So I'm going to first unhide the jet engines. And perhaps I think I will... Okay, so right now I'll just figure out a way to, to actually draw the, the curves around here. So for these jet engines here, I'm going to press number 3 to round them off. And also my perspective camera, if I were to show you all, the perspective camera uh, focal length can be adjusted. Um, one thing you all need to take note for, especially for these kind of reference images, like all these photos are taken with a telephoto lens. So if you're taking it with a telephoto lens, most likely they are in the range of uh, above 150 to 250 millimeters uh, in focal length. So I'm going to set my cameras, my perspective cameras focal length to possibly uh, 200. Let's try setting it to 200. And so that if I'm looking, actually I've got two perspective cameras, so I think I'm going to delete away this one. I think I accidentally duplicated that. So I'm going to look through the perspective camera, and now you can see that it is at a focal length of 200. So everything has, will appear to be more compressed, and there are less perspective. Okay, so I can bring my reference side by side. A good thing I can rotate this so that I can put it side by side and rotate my view so I can compare side by side whether my model is is correct. Okay, I think it's more looking something like this. Okay, so we can see that there's a very clear spine uh, that is running from the back of the aircraft right to the tail section area here. And let me just rotate it a little bit more like this, zoom out a bit. So that we can see side by side uh, what is the general shape. Okay, so looking at this area here, we can see that the the jet intake right, or rather the, uh, the jet engines right, protrude right where the vertical stabilizer is sticking out. So I'm going to use this point as a reference. And uh, then perhaps use a knife to cut this uh, circular shape out, all right? So the jet engines right now, um, based on my reference drawings, I think the diameter of the jet engines could be bigger, right? So I'm gonna go to vertex mode, I'm gonna select all these group of vertices over here. Then I'm gonna uniformly scale them up. Okay, maybe not uniformly, I want to scale them uh, non-uniformly along the X and then the Z axis. So holding down the control, grabbing the scale axis, and then just scale this up. Okay, the, I think the symmetry is on. I'm going to turn off symmetry so that I can scale this up uniformly like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, now the, you can see the size of the engines coming out and it is almost matching the shape of it intersecting along the flat section here. So that one looks much more like it now. And let me look at the side view. 
And let me just press 1 to go to non-subdivided view. Uh, and I think everything looks about right. Okay, let me just move this aside, see whether did I overscale this. Okay, actually this looks about right. Okay. Good. Alright, so now I can press number 3 to subdivide this and I can use this as a guide to draw or cut the uh, the lines above here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hide these fins. Then the uh, elevators, don't need to see them. And basically I'm just going to cut based on the shape of these uh, jet intakes or rather the uh, ex jet exhaust. I'm going to use my knife tool on this shape here, the main uh, shape here. Use the multi-cut tool and I'll probably start from the bottom here. From here, I'll cut upwards here. Okay, something wrong with my knife too. Let me just press escape and start again. Start from here. Cut all the way to here. And all the way to here. Okay, since there's going to be a round section like that, so I'm going to do a bit more sections here. Maybe one here. One here. One here. And one here all the way back down to the center okay right about here uh, actually now that I think about it let me see what I can cut here instead okay and I'll continue to cut from here here Okay, it's actually not cutting through. Uh, let's see. Um, well, actually, okay, no mind. I'll just I can press enter to finish this cut, and then I'll uh, carry on cutting from the bottom here. Okay, so I'm gonna press enter to finish the cut. Now I'm gonna delete away half of this because. Uh, I'm going to use the duplicate special so I don't have to modify or model half of this uh, model all the time. I'm going to go to face mode and drag and select all the faces on the left side and I'm going to delete them. Then do a duplicate special. Okay, along the x-axis and duplicate. Alright, so now I can just need to focus on one side and the other side should follow. Okay, I'm going to temporarily hide these uh, jet engines. And yeah, so we're going to use the knife tool again. Start from here, cut to here. And this one basically uh, it just follows the, the engine on the left. I'm just gonna cut a gap so that I can place the entire engine inside like that. Okay, so now I can delete away these spaces. right now okay for example this one here I can probably insert one edge loop across here <coughs> just add one multi cut will cut across here and 
evening I will cut from here to here and then connect these two together so that when I press number three to subdivide it should uh, give a nice hollow section there okay we have some uh, topology issues here so I'm going to try to fix that by connecting these lines here and maybe this one here we have a triangle but we're going to leave that triangle for now and that should be fine Okay, so I'm going to unhide the other engine. Display show all. Okay, so now I'm trying to reshape the bottom portion here so I'm going to look for the reference again I'm going to look for an image right where we can see right in front of the jet intake which is this one so you can see here that there's a very tiny gap right underneath the uh, jet intake and also there's a bulge over here where the uh, the landing wheel is being tucked inside here so I'm going to use this picture as my reference and then just rotate this so we can see here there's a transition here that this part here is fairly thin this part here goes in quite a bit so i'll push this one inwards So essentially I'm like sculpting this. I'm going to keep the uh, image reference to, to the left hand side so I'm going to just put it like that and then I can see that from this angle the jet intake this portion here needs to be pushed up a little bit more. So this these sections here most likely has to go up a little bit more. section I'm going to push it up some more. These needs to be rounded a little bit more so to represent uh, this section here. Alright then it needs to come out a little bit more because this is where it merges completely with the vertical stabilizer. I'm going to select these two vertices here and pull it out until it merges with the vertical stabilizer. So this portion here, this portion here can come out a little bit more. Okay, and you notice over here this section here there's a almost like a tapered triangular section here and then another face that goes over here so we will try to replicate that so I will grab this vertex here let me go to level 1 and then try to push this up a little bit more and the this one should be much flatter like that and these whole groups of vertices this three group of vertices one two and three you just use selection then use scale to make it narrower like that just line them up like that Well, actually on second thought, let me undo that. This, this vertex here should be lower. Oh, I'm 
so I can talk I'm looking at this shape here uh, yeah these three needs to be these three vertices need to be line, lined up together like that This one, this section needs to be lower down a little bit. Okay, I'm trying to look at this shape here and trying to recreate as closely as I can. Okay, so this part here, this section, there's a vertex here that needs to be lowered quite a bit until it is until it is the same uh, height as the fin here. So this part here has to be lowered quite a bit. This section here lowered down quite a bit. Yep, until it touches this fin over here, which we have model So far, so good. This section here needs to be lower somehow. Using the cursor key to push down, should be able to get it down to this section. Okay, for the jet engines maybe i'll insert one more edge loop right about here in the center so that i can recreate this particular shape okay i need to hide the references uh, Okay, need to look for another reference where I can see the bottom a bit clearer. Okay, this one is good. Now I need to rotate this. Okay, so this triangular section ends about about the mid section of the wing. So this part needs to come down quite a bit. So I'm gonna select this loop and slide it down. This part here needs to come out a little bit more. Mm, okay, it definitely needs one more edge loop around here. So we can pull this one almost parallel.
push this section up in fact I think I can second thought might I want to delete this just flatten this push it up a bit so that there's a gap between here and the uh, the jet intake Okay, there's a very very narrow spine in the center and it ends it sort of like flattens out right about in the center so I'll probably take these and okay this section here right uh, between the the jet outputs. This this looks something like a arrestor gear. Okay, because this jet uh, does, does have a naval version, so um, it sort of like protrudes out from here. So I will select all these edges here. This one as well, and I'll be flattening them. These two, and this one as well. Then using scale, and just flatten them so that they are nice and flat. Push this up. of this comes up right about there so I think we could extend this portion a little bit more okay right now I'm looking at this upside down so it's a bit hard to see right so let's see how can I make this I can use a knife too. Cut from here to here. Center already, so I press enter. Yeah, so I use that to reshape this. much smoother I'll cut from here nope not here here and then finish up here use the selection to select this loop control delete okay so now there'll be a smoother transition I need to fix the topology here Go to vertex modes like these two, and maybe I'll just insert one edge loop here, and select these two, and then connect them. And this one just I couldn't delete this, I'll leave this as a triangle for now. Right, so at least now this part here, it transitioned nicely into the spine of the aircraft. And then I think I can tweak this to make it a little bit more cylindrical. Just push this out a little bit more. Okay, 
Okay, looking much better. All right, so if we take a look at the actual reference of the aircraft for this particular aircraft, anyway, you notice that the the tail fin, the vertical tail fin, is clipped at the angle. But my reference is telling me otherwise. It is a straight one, so I want to follow the one that I see in the actual aircraft. So what we do is I'll select these group of vertices and then just rotate them until they roughly have the same angle. Let's push this back slightly. Okay, so far so good. We have the, the jet intakes and engine uh, roughly blocked out. Um, the section here seems to be much sharper than what we see in the uh, the drawings. So what I'm going to do is grab this vertex, press uh, B for soft selection, holding down the B and middle mouse click to gradually pull this out so that it's a bit more elongated like that. Okay, so far everything looks about right. Press B to turn off the uh, section here. Now, okay, the, the part which I want to focus now is this, this section over here right underneath the aircraft. We just rotate this. Okay, here, right over here, we can see this smooth transition from here to here. Okay, just want to tweak this a little bit. I'm going to use a sliding tool to slide it inwards slightly over here. Okay, so it has a nice teardrop shape like that. Okay, so now <coughs> Okay, I want to create a nice looking uh, canopy. Okay, this one is a two-seater. So what I'll do is that I will remove <coughs> the faces that form the canopy, the cockpit canopy here, and then I'll just build this as closely to the reference as I can. Because I don't have uh, really a line drawing of the two-person canopy, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the photo reference to help me out. Okay, right now if I press number three, let's take a look at what it looks like. It's pretty close to the shape of the aircraft itself. Um, Okay, I really need to fix this area here. Let me go to level one. And, ah, yeah, because I did not delete away the faces over here. Okay, I need to turn off my symmetry. Yes, off already. Need to select this and get rid of these faces. Okay. So now, yeah, much better after I press number three. Okay, this part is usually the tricky part. So right now I'm trying to consider, should I remove this or should I just leave it sticking here? Uh, I think for now I'll just leave it sticking there for now. OK, 
Okay, right now I'm level 3, so I will just maybe install an edge loop here to strengthen the hard edge here. So I'm gonna insert one very tight edge loop here. Oops, wrong loop. Should be the wing tip uh, across like that, yeah. So if I press number 3, uh, I should maintain the wing shape. Okay, this one looks good. Okay, the root of the wing, maybe I insert one more edge loop here. Holding down the control, then left mouse click right over here. So it should maintain the shape nicely like that. looks like <laughs> if I subdivide it uh, doesn't look very nice uh, I'm leave, I'll leave these the fin vertical fins and all that temporarily not subdivided though I need to make them more tapered okay let's see yep pretty close to reference okay now I want to remove the canopy so I can reshape this so technically I'm not going to um, delete them, I'm going to just going to detach them and then model them separately. So using the detach tool, extract tool and then now I should have a separate piece. I'm going to rename this. Oh actually it's not separated so let me undo. Okay, while the faces are still being selected, I will shift right mouse click and then I'll use the extract faces. Let me check, make sure that the extract, yeah, set, reset the settings and extract. Uh, I should, this should be a separate object, but it's not. Let me undo that again. Let's go to mesh, mesh. Detach. Okay. Should be using detach instead. So once it's detached, it should become a separate face but still not separated yet. Okay, for some reason. Let's separate. Okay, so now this should work now. So once I separate, yeah, uh, I lost my duplicate special. So let me duplicate special again. And then this one is my canopy. Duplicate, duplicate special. Okay, now I think it's time to rename, uh, rename the uh, sections here in the outliner. So this one would be the uh, left view slash. And this one will be the left canopy. This one will be the right fuselage. This one will be the right canopy. I'm going to select all of these and unparent them from these cylinders so let's delete away the history and delete away this cylinder I know about this one I don't need that I'm gonna reassign the existing material solid material press G repeat last command it doesn't work okay Right, so now I can work on these individually. Um, the canopy, right, I can join both of these together, mesh, combine. And I'm going to go and select the vertices over here in the center and merge them. Merge, merge vertices. Okay, so if I press number three, it should 
uh, round off very, very nicely like that. Okay, just as I expected. And for the fuselage itself, if I press number three, everything should round off nicely as well. Okay, so right now we want to create a hard uh, opening so that we can place in the or line up the canopy along the edge. So for the canopy, I can temporarily take this canopy out like that. And then I'm going to double click and select. Okay, first I want to check and make sure that the shape of the canopy looks good. Okay, I think it is fine. You can use the reference. If, uh, unfortunately for the reference, I don't have the canopy where the aircraft is looking straight. So we know that this, this uh, canopy bulges outwards uh, almost in a circular fashion in the uh, first, first railing over here. So uh, it is actually fine. Okay, for this one, I need to turn on my symmetry. Need to push this outwards like that so that it has a nice rounded, uh, almost semi-circular ring, uh, rounded ring to it. Same for the back part here. We just push this out. So the can canopy has a, actually has a nice bulge to it. And which should connect to the rest of the cockpit. Now the bottom edge here, I'm gonna just double click and slide the open edge here and extrude out, extrude the edge. Okay, I'm just gonna slide and pull the edges down slightly. If I go to level one, you can see the edge pulled out is just very minimum. We're almost like giving it like a shell. And come to think of it, you can actually select this loop here and then make it into the outline of the, uh, the canopy shape. So I'll try to detach this. Uh, let's see which one. Mesh. I'll use this tool. Then I'll select this connected section. Okay, my symmetry is on. Let me turn it off. Face is a bit hard to select over here for some reason. Ah, because this is a separate object already. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, so that's what I want. I want to separate this. Okay, need to center the pivot. So using this method, you can build the framework of the aircraft, or rather the cockpit uh, framework. Okay, I'm scaling this inwards so then it will form this, uh, what I call it, the, uh, the border for the canopy. And for this canopy here, uh, and if I want this thing to be tighter, I can insert more edge loop here. Now for the opening of this canopy here, I want this to be uh, tighter as well. So I'll have to go and um, select the edge here. 
the open edge right about here not not this one I don't want to because this is only half of the canopy so I'm going to select this section here extrude it outwards Okay, so but the thing is, once you extrude outwards, if I subdivide this, I'm going to end up with this uh, this shape as well. I'm going to go back to level one. And I can insert one edge loop here. Okay, actually, I want to maybe just manually cut from here and end here okay so if I subdivide this this you can see here this corner is now much harder but I will have to go and fix the topology from here to here so I'm going to insert an edge loop here and cut from here to here here so maybe I had to reconsider reflowing this somewhere else <coughs> on second thought I don't want it to flow all the way so I'll just get it to flow right about here okay in so one more edge loop here So we fix the topology for here. Yeah, and right now you can see we have, have a much harder edge here. Okay, I don't really like this uh, edge here, so I'm going to leave it as a triangle for now. Maybe I can get rid of this loop here and see how it goes. Yeah, okay. Um, this one doesn't look very good, so let me undo that. Okay, problem right now, there is a pole over here, which I also want to try to avoid. Uh, let's see, what can we do here? Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay, basically I'm just using one edge to create a harder corner here yeah because I don't really like this uh, the way the topology is flowing so I gotten rid of the the flow okay now that I look at it I don't really need this piece here I uh, will delete this Okay, now I have the canopy shape. Okay, I have to look at the reference. This part here is tapering until there's a slight curve. So I'm going to select 
the vertices in front here and try to pull it out. Center the pivot form of this. Um, my layout is messed up. We just reset this. So did they not Okay, so we have fine-tuned this quite a bit and I think uh, for today I will stop at this point um, and after that I'll, I'll focus on different parts of the aircraft. Okay, but we are making good progress here. The thing is just slow and steady, you want to try to make sure everything is as accurate as possible. Okay, so we will continue to adjust this further. Um, obviously, there's still a lot of uh, areas that, that can be tweaked further. For example, this section here. Can you smooth this out even more? Okay, and then I will stop the modeling for today. And this is the refined result.